So first following up on the physical, if this was a routine physical, why wasn't it on the schedule that you gave us last night? Why the secrecy there? Uh, well, just to peel the curtain back for the American people on how this worked um, and how it typically works, uh, if you look back at history here, uh, this morning uh, we notified the pool, the press pool, many of you are part of that and rotate through that. We called the president of the White House Correspondents Association uh, very early this morning, who was awake. Uh, we called uh, the, um, the network uh, bureau chief chair that's rotating, as you know, and indicated that the president, not only would the pool be gathering, but the president would be going to get a routine physical. I then sent out a tweet to many, many people out there at around 6.15 a.m., and we, we have put out many, many updates since then, and we will put out a comprehensive written summary later this afternoon. That's pretty standard for how it's approached, uh, sharing this information. It's, it follows protocols that have been followed in the past. And uh, again, you all will receive a comprehensive summary later this afternoon. Okay, uh, moving on to the Build Back Better plan. Is the president gonna stop saying that the Build Back Better plan does not increase the deficit one single cent if we now know that that is not true? Uh, it is true, and I would note the several economists and experts out there. I would know. I think you're probably talking about the CBO score, which Joe Biden himself in 2010 called the gold standard for Democrats and Republicans. Well, Peter, since we're all here to communicate with the public about accurate information, what I would just note is that one of the components that experts, Democrats and Republicans, including former heads of the CBO, have pointed to is that IRS. Uh, IRS enforcement is not something that there's a lot of experience in the CBO uh, scoring. They still scored it, but is undervalued by the assessment of many economists and experts, uh, including people who have been critical of us in the past, who estimate, including former tre tre Treasury secretaries of both parties, who estimate there will be significant savings, significantly higher than what is estimated currently. So our assessment and the assessment by uh, many economists out there is that there will be savings over 10 years that will actually reduce the deficit. The CBO's projection is that it's going to, but there's going to be at least a $160 billion increase to the deficit over 10 years. That is 16 trillion cents. So the president was not telling the truth. Well, Peter, just to go back to the content facts here. So CB, so the IRS enforcement component, something recommended by former Secretary Hank Paulson, former Secretary uh, Larry Summers, Democrats and Republicans of both parties who feel there could be significant savings over the course of time. I'm just going to note something that uh, for Trump appointed IRS Commissioner Charles Reddick said, the administration estimates $400 billion in additional revenue can be generated over the next decade from enforcement efforts focused on higher end incomes, shrinking the tax gap. This figure is no surprise. Republican former Treasury Secretary Hank Paulson co wrote an op ed with other former Treasury secretaries saying that there could be considerably more revenue than we projected from the White House from this. So, again, this is an area where experts, economic experts, n neither of us are one, I think we can confirm that, uh, have confirmed that there are significant savings that will come from this. That is why moderate members of the House, I think they would tell you, and many of them have spoken to this, including Congressman Kurt Schrader, who is one of the moderates who is on the borderline, given deficit impacts, have said is they felt comfortable with it because of the expertise out there about the impact of IRS enforcement. When the last administration tried to uh, say that the CBO was incorrect. You tweeted, watching Mulvaney try to walk away from a CBO score and explain the budget outline is awkward and uncomfortable to watch. So what is the difference between the Trump administration saying, don't listen to the CBO, and the Biden administration saying, don't Actually, listen to the CBO? Actually, we've praised the overall work of the CBO on the Build Back Better Act uh, repeatedly, and that's uh, what we believe. But again, I would point to the fact that there isn't a great deal of history or experience in scoring IRS enforcement. That's something that economists across the board have noted. That's something that, that uh, leaders on the Hill, Democrats and Republicans, have been briefed on for several months now, and that's why it wasn't really a surprise to them and why the vote in part moved forward.